Hello everybody, welcome to Fazdo. We have a new friend here. This is Lee. Lee, say hi. Budgie. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. We've been having audio issues and dealing with that, but now we're good. We can hear Lee. I am so, lagging. Yeah, lag happens. You might have to mess with uh, the actual graphics for that. I think I warned you about that. Anyway. We are here. Yes, Lee is British to answer the question of everybody. If you've seen some of my Back to Blood with Friends videos, I played with Lee there. This is the first time Lee will be here for Phasmo, though. And good ghosty scares. Which Lee is looking forward to. Right? Yes. Yes. So I'm gonna add the crap. Did you play the tutorial at all? A little bit, yeah. A little? Okay. That's something, because at least everybody I taught hasn't really went to the tutorial, but that's fine because we're going to amateur difficulty and I'll probably teach you more. Sounds good to me. So I'm assuming so if you play the tutorial, Tanglewood is a tutorial house, or should still be. So if we go to Tanglewood and you go vote on it, we can go back to Tanglewood and I can teach you there. Yeah. So vote on it, you ready up, and then we can go back and we can start this madness. And we go. Entire leg. Alright. So up here, this board right here they're standing by. Shush, George. That's George. Okay. So we have the name of our ghosts up here on the top with the case number. The case number really doesn't matter, but we have Eva, Stevens, or Eva, whichever one. Probably Eva. Um, for amateur and intermediate, it tells you if the ghost responds to everybody or alone, meaning that if it's an everybody ghost, like if we have like the spare box and trying to talk to the ghost, the ghost will answer. If it's an alone ghost, that means only one person could be near the ghost and the ghost will answer. That's mostly it. Um, so it's basically favoritism. What was that? It's basically favoritism then. Not favoritism, but ma more like maybe an antisocial ghost. Favoritism, gotcha. Yeah. And then on the bottom here, we got our objectives. What we have to do. Which we might not worry about on this because I'm seeing the first two are kind of crappy, but right. objectives, getting them done, means we get more money for them. So, like, it's keep the ghost there in a hunt, which I'm not recommending we do right away. Um, yeah. Um, below 25, that is also a bad thing to have on amateur, probably. I have to deal with the ghost trying to kill you. And we have blow out a candle, which I did bring candles. So, over here is the equipment. Uh, which I have a bunch of crap, so I brought them all. Eventually you'll learn it. Everything we'll need is basically on this side. Like, we got our EMF, we got our photo camera to take photos. Photos are also worth money if you can get photos of the ghost or thing, the ghost throwing things, stuff like that. Flashlights, we don't need the silver ones, those are the crappy ones. The good flashlights are over here on the row of four. Recommended that we use those. We got our spare box. We got the journal, dots, video camera, UV light. Yeah. And then, oh, hello lag. Of course. Um, 
Everything else over here is basically objective or something. Like, these are head-mounted cameras. I am lagging like a mofo. <laughs> That's not good for me either. But head-mounted cameras, motion... Sorry, I'll stop flashing. <laughs> Sanity pills. <laughs> these are... To keep our sanity high, which if our sanity meter is here, if it that can hot um, hunt under cer certain circumstances above fifty. This mostly applies to intermediate and higher difficulty when our sanity dro uh, drops a lot more than on amateur mode. Uh, these are candles, lighters, smudge sticks. Smudge sticks. Yes. Salt, uh, parabolic <laughs> microphone. You can. That's usually an objective. Thermometers, crucifixes. And I brought sound sensors, which we don't really, probably won't use a lot. But mostly, yeah, every objective piece is over here. So if you played the tutorial, did you understand it? Yeah, that's the walkie. So basically you're trying to figure out, th find three pieces of evidence to figure out what ghost type it is. Yeah. And mark down... The evidence and it will tell you the ghost type usually but sometimes you have to be careful because the only ghost of our exception of that rule is the mimic that has four pieces of evidence and one of them is false the orbs are false do you have any questions so far maybe um, I don't think so no okay so right, right away, we're mostly going in, finding the ghosts. Uh, the power should be on since we're on amateur, but usually on intermediate or higher. It's recommended that you might want to turn the power on, up to you. For Tanglewood, it's usually either the basement or the garage. It's looking like it's in the basement right now, because if you see on the map, well, this is the first floor. This is the second floor. The green is the power box. So yeah, that's the floor layout. Pretty simple. It's Tanglewood. It's like the smallest map, but it's also the starter house. So grab what you want. Um, I'm going to assume you know how to use them, though. I'll let you how go first. Use what, well, any of it. But oh, yeah. Grab what you want. I usually start out with a thermometer and the spirit box. The thermometer for the cold room temps usually means that's where the ghost is. Um, oh, jeez. Yeah, it happens. I usually go with the spirit box. So Up to you to grab what you want to, though. There's a lot. You might have to switch the flashlight out of your hands to grab something. There we go. Spirit box. Okay, I'll throw mine down if you got it. Uh, and then you can grab mm -hmm. another thing. Sweet. You can grab two and the flashlight. Unless you want to not carry a flashlight and grab three things. Wouldn't recommend. You're not going to be able to see anything unless you have the house memorized. So, um, got us. You're grabbing a crucifix. Okay, we might not need to hopefully worry about that so far, but all right. So I have a thermometer, and that's it. So I guess I'm gonna grab a book because that's gonna be one of the things that's gonna be forever take off. Okay. So before you leave into the house, you would need to grab the key that is usually hanging right here on the wall. I'll let you grab it. And then, you, then you hit the key pad on the door and that opens the door. 
Make sure your flashlight's on, and then we go inside and hunt for this ghost. Listen for, like, any sounds of, like, stuff being thrown around you, or... Yeah. I think you know how I'm actually quite good now. <laughs> I'm grabbing the car key. Look, don't pick it up if you find it. None of the cursed objects. Don't pick up the bone yet if you see it. Just keep where am I out. I already hear the ghost somewhere. So search all the okay. bones. Bye, see me quick. <laughs> Come on, Lee. So my recommended, like I said, I use a thermometer. Look for the coldest room. The power's already on, so we don't have to worry about that. Everything should be warm. So if anything drops very fast, we have the music box. See, that's a what door opening. That? On the cab the cabinet, but do not touch it, Lee. <laughs> don't touch it. Okay, so we heard a door opening. Oh, it looks like it is a closet door out in the hallway. Possibly. Wait, wait, you wish me, wish me. Where are you? Right here. Okay. Did you turn on this lamp? Okay, cool. Or was it? No. Okay. Our ghost is somewhere around here then. One of these rooms might be the ghost room or it could be the hallway. <laughs> Come on! Uh, 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 a picture just got thrown. This one? Oh, okay. Yeah, that one. Oh. Come help me find the ghost, Lee. You have the spirit box. Start talking. Pull out the spirit box. Pull out whatever. There you go. It's only one pair. Come over here. I think this is an old ghost. Like this. Don't stand near me. Here at this moment. Oh, I'm so scared. It's fine. It's an alone ghost. You have to go over there yourself. You had the spare box. Oh god. Where do I go? Ask, are I'm you here? Or where story. are you? Or how old are you? Okay. How old are you? Did you see an X pop up? Oh, the X popped up. Uh, okay, that be no, that means the ghost did the answer, but it might not be a spare box ghost. But keep trying. Like walk over there and keep talking. If I die, I'm blaming you. You're not gonna die, unless it's the yokai and we're basically screwing ourselves. But go ahead. <laughs> it's like I think I saw something. I think I saw something. Might just be my game glitching. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Come on! Oh, there's two things I don't fuck with. Ghosts and paranormal shit. <laughs> hey, this you want is me to do it? Yes, oh. please. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's Turn, go. Let's it. Let's Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Alright. Oh, fuck me. Congrats, you already uh, ticked off the ghost. Alright, let's step out. Oh, that was horrible! <laughs> So go to the journal and mark down the spirit box. Okay, that's the spirit box. So we got our first clue. The worst part is she already said kill. That means she might be bad. Hopefully that does not mean it's a yokai right away though, because we could end up possibly dying. Alright, so we got one clue. You marked it down, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. <laughs> Welcome to Fast Lee. Um, oh, I gotta go bring this back in here. What else do I got? I got a book. So, if you want to get, we're gonna assume it's gonna be that hallway, hopefully. Get a video camera ready. These are tripods. You can put the video camera on the tripod. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to go back in. Wait, did you put it? You didn't put video camera on it. How do I do that? You oh. Grab a video camera, take it out, put it on the tripod. 
Yeah, you gotta. It's probably like a right mouse button or something for you. I mean, you're gonna have to learn how to play the controls. Well, nope, you threw it on the floor. Shit. Um. I changed my controls, so me telling you what to do is gonna be impossible, so. <laughs> How the fuck do I put- You can go to your journal, look at your controls, and switch it to any keys you want for a key bind. While you're doing that though, if you can't hear me though. I'm gonna go put the book in quick. Okay, that should be all fixed. Did you do it? I went and put in the book and it looks like- oh, Wait, hi, hello, sorry. I went to go put in- <laughs> Lee's gonna have a heart. Well, I've gotten it to record. Well, it's gonna do that regardless. Wait, you didn't put on a tripod still. No, it won't let me- Come here! Oh god. The tripod is easier, trust me. So you have to basically have it aimed at the top and then whatever it is the your uh interaction button is Nope, that's the drop. Oh, you did it! There you go. So now you can Fuck me. <laughs> grab another thing if you want before you pick up the tripod. <sighs> Unless you don't want to, that's fine. I'll grab an EMF and a photo camera. So before I always go back in, make sure you check your sanity. Right now we're at 83. So we're good, unless the ghost is the yokai, we've been ticking her off, but I set the book in there already, it, and then, yeah, it looks like it's a hallway. So you can set the camera down anywhere. Our ghost has been busy. I would recommend it's in the house, though. <laughs> okay. So, I got the MF. And I got a photo camera. And lag. You wanna go- You're gonna put it through there? Okay. I'm gonna close- We have an EMF 3. <laughs> Make sure the camera's facing this way though. I don't like this. You can set it down. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have set it down already. Okay, there we go. Alright. So come back to the truck. So you've seen our computer over here. You know how to look for orbs and stuff, right? Sort of, yeah. You have to click on the mouse and it will switch to the camera that we have in there. Or any cameras that are in-house. You have to make sure the uh, night vision is on, so click the keyboard. Oh, it's dark for me. Is it for... Is it on the... Okay, yeah, the night vision's on. Okay. Um, so now you can see where you place the camera and stuff like that. 
and you can see if we're going to have any orbs, which I'm not seeing. Yet. And usually we would see the dots on there too, but we need to go put dots down before that can happen. Oh Christ. Okay. Um, yep. Which ones are the dots? Those are the dots. You're looking straight at them. Right on the right of the book. You can grab both or one of them. I think I've got it. Yep, you got it. Okay, cool. You're just gonna go with one so far? Okay. Yeah. I'll grab the other one just in case. Okay, Unless my cool. hands are full. My hands are full. I should have left a UV in there. Well, I mean the EMF. Okay. So okay, if you What did you call? I said ladies first. Oh okay. I'm okay. So you can put the dots on the wall or the floor. It's recommended that you crouch. So, and put them in front of the video camera. So I would put yours like on this hallway, where I'm standing. What well, here? The camera's not going to see it there. Oh, you want to put further in? Okay. Like, uh, basically this will cover this hallway where I put it down, so you need to- you should put yours on the opposite oh. hallway. <laughs> oh, there's a creak. Oh, I do not like this. Um, Yes, the house creaks. No, the door just closed. Open. Come on, Lee! You can do it, I believe in you. So Come scary. put it over here in this corner. How do I put it down? Okay, that that oh, you throw it down. Sorry. <laughs> here, oh. oh but, okay, she's in the dungeon. Here, it's right here. Oh my god. What are you gonna do on higher difficulty, Lee? It's not letting me pick anything up. It should. Oh god. You have to make sure like your little white circle's on it or something. And your ha hand has to be empty. Oh fuck. Okay. <laughs> I forgot the camera was there. <laughs> oh man. That's gonna be... <laughs> Good times. Are you gonna do this, or do I gonna have to do this? Could you do it, please? Okay. Just <laughs> Thank you. Done. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let me out of this hell. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing. <laughs> we gotta figure out what this ghost is before we can leave, Lee. All right, oh. so we are now down to seventy percent sanity. So mm. keep that in mind. Come over here by the computer, and we're going to dot watch. Do you know how the dots work? No. Usually when the ghost runs past them, you'll see the ghost full figure th run through the dots, or whatever. If it's a dots evidence ghost. There you go. <laughs> oh god, 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 so we have a dots ghost. So mark down dots projector as a piece of evidence. So now we have two or three. So as you see, we now have we three. Have two. Yes. We have four ghosts that it could be. A wraith, phantom, yokai, or diogen. So easy as... Oh, it could be yokai. Yeah. So, you can go, like, to the ghost tab, you can look up all four of those ghosts to figure out what the last evidence is. <laughs> or you can just click on the box to see what we need. So, if it's ghost orbs, we'd have a yokai. EMF5, it would be a wraith. Fingerprints, if it's a phantom. Ghost writing, if it's a I Yeah, I haven't either. 
So it's probably not orbs. So we're gonna... You can cross it off, by the way, if you double-click it. Are you alive over there? You look Bye. like... <laughs> it's gonna get worse, Lee. <laughs> so if you well, cross no. off ghost orbs, then it will take out the yokai. So we have Wraith, Phantom, or Diogen. So EMF5 if it's a Wraith, fingerprints if it's a Phantom, by the way I'm going to tell you it's not fingerprints because I took a photo of one of the doors the ghost opened and there was no fingerprints. You can do that. So we either have a Wraith or Diogen, which can potentially both be dangerous ghosts, by the way. <laughs> it looks like we got the child ghost, by the way. What do you mean? We have a child ghost. We have like a, ch a child, a teenager, we have several men, old men, and an old woman. We have the child ghost. <laughs> by the looks of the dots. <sighs> Alright, like so we need writing or EMF5. So I already have a book in there. Do you want to grab the other EMF? I've got it. Okay. I'm going to trust this ghost that's going to hunt us, or do you want to take pills? Oh shit, yeah, my bad. Um, we're at 70 right now, but yeah. yeah. So if you want to grab a pill bottle, however your interaction button is, you'll take them and then you'll just automatically eat them. You can't use that bottle anymore. And it's only one use per bottle. The other ones are over here, Lee. Turn around. Oh, my bad. Brothers. Take the happy pills. There you go. Oh, much better. And now we're 100% fanny. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you have a parabolic. You can use that if you want. You're going to freak out, though, oh, if the ghost decides to talk to you. Did you grab the other EMF? Yeah, you did. Okay. So we're looking for ghost writing. If you see ghost writing in the book, we have writing. EMF 5 will be in EMF 5. So make sure it's on and walk around with it. Whenever the ghost interacts with you, will get an EMF on. I gotta find my other EMF. Which I honestly don't see my other EMF. Oh, uh, hold on. Don't freak out, I left you in the house for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm back with you. I thought someone got thrown at me, so I panicked. Did you check the EMF on it? Not yet, no. Oh, well, they don't last forever, so you, when you hear something happening, run towards it. So the ghost touched the store. It's only an EMF 2 oh, so it's... far. Uh, I oh, think it's coming from in here. Is that a 5? No, it's just come to a 2. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a five. Oh, Where we go? We got an EMF five. EMF five over here. So you can see it's red. It's EMF five. So we got a wraith. So the bad thing about wraiths, once you mark EMF five, they're teleporty ghosts. So they'll teleport to. Uh, I wouldn't recommend playing it. First of all, before you take it though, I'm gonna go take a photo of it. We're not done here yet, Lee. Okay, cool. The important thing is making money and proving the ghost is real. So, take a photo of the cursed object or anything the ghost. We need to look for the bone. So start searching around the house for a bone. And it can look like anything. And it can also be very hard to see. Are you not going to look around the house for a bone? 
Come on, Lee. I've got one minute left in the game time. <laughs> oh, our friend was in the basement. You'll get used to it. <laughs> oh, you can see How have I not found the bone out. yet? Um, hmm. Oh, shit, we're getting dungeon. What? Did you just yeet on me? Probably. Yep. That's fair. <sighs> well, that'll do. Hmm. And that was Lee, everybody. But Lee is not playing the normal way. <sighs> Alright. Alright. We'll eventually get there.